Okay, everyone, Tony K back with more Tony K plays Pokemon Y. In the last part, we came here to uh, Luminous City. A lot of stuff happened, getting lost, being cock blocked by workmen, forced to socialize with people, you know, the usual. Anyway, when you come out here, you're gonna meet a certain Pokemon. Yeah, I've, I already kind of seen this bit because. I kind of previewed it off screen. You know, I just, I just wanted to see. Anyway, wait, Lucario. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some social training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn to this? Yeah, did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Huh. Well, it seems Lucario likes you. You think so? See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a stranger to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was on such a roll, I've got to even introduce myself. I am Corina, the Shalor City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the, with the punches. Okay, well, well, we're here on Route 5, also known as the Versant Road. And here we're at the skate park. I know, let's put our skates on and roll around. We do tricks, do tricks, do tricks, do tricks, do tricks. We are oh, coming, it's my enemy. But no, for serious, let's go over here. Jump on the rails. Hang on, gotta get. There we go. And pick up. Super potion. I'm gonna look in the grass for a bit, because there is a new Pokemon in this area. Okay, maybe two then. Unless you can find Bunnelby early on, I don't know, but... Okay, there is another one. It's in there somewhere. Oh okay, yeah, there's three new Pokemon. Wanna show off that one Pokemon that I originally found first and foremost and oh it's a f it's an amber. Does it still teleport away? You bet your ass it does. Excuse me. Very tired. A horde of scraggies. Something new to uh, X and Y, you can get into horde battles. And mine just seems to be with a bunch of fucking scraggies. Problem is, I don't have anything that can combat them. Because they're weird typing, they're like dark fighting, I think. Or they could just be pure fighting at the moment, and I think their evolution start fighting. I don't know, I know there's some odd combination. Anyway, so I guess I'll just switch over to Blaze for the time being. Okay, my accuracy is gonna go to shit, so. Like, what the hell? Yeah, okay, I might as well just run away now, because there's no possible chance of me being able to even hit them now. With that many sand attacks thrown in my fucking face. Okay. Well, you can find a fufu. Fufu. Fufu dog in the grass as well, as well. That's what I was trying to do. 
Anyway, uh, people say we're like two peas in a pod. They say we're two halves of a whole. They say we're twins. Faith and joy. I assume their parents are Christian. We got plus one mile. That wasn't very nice. Okay, uh... It's gonna be quite a longish battle, I guess. And let's do a quick attack. Ow, that heart. And poison point took effect. Cool. Ah, oh, shite. Warrior Seed? Don't worry about it. Yeah, what does Warrior Seed do anyway? Um, I see the closest Warrior is planted on the target that finds sleep by making the target's ability Insomnia. Why would that be a good move to have? To make your opponent not fall asleep? I guess it would actually help against moves such as Rest, but even so, I don't... I don't really see that ever being quite useful in scenarios where, you know, I don't know if the target has rest or not. And I'll, I'll get rid of war... No, actually, I still want to keep hold of war sports, because it's very good, especially, you know, for a non-water-type Pokemon to have. And growth could also come in very... Ah, fuck it, I'll just get rid of Warrior Seed. No! Yes, blah blah blah. Keep old moves. Yes. There we go. Oh god damn it. Well at least side beam's a good move. Get rid of pal. And of course, Pikachu gets a fucking level up. And tries to learn from the wave. Fine, give it a play nice. It's kind of around this point if you, that I'm kind of ditching Pikachu, not really using him anymore. Science say oh there was another okay, I don't think I can get over there. I'll check again. Uh train tips. There are some buttons that really come in handy. For example, pressing the Y button will let you register items. To register an item, select it in the key items pocket and then select register. Cool. But as you know, tradition, usually you reserve the register button for your bike. But it kind of seems pointless considering we have these bastards now. 